All right, well, hey everyone. Uh, this is a video tutorial on how to create this type of a blended image. And what we've got here is just a sequence of images from a recent sunset here in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. You can see the beautiful snow on the ground and this beautiful clear winter sunset. And what I've got here is just an empty picture frame, this black empty frame that I held up at different times and different locations. And I'm just going to show you how to Put a few different images together to uh, to create this shot. Okay, so what we what I thought I'd do first is to come over here into Lightroom and show you <laughs> the, uh, the sequence of events. So this was kind of the very first time I've done this, uh, you know, type of shot. So here's a random shot, you know, and try this one and a few different. I really I'm doing this by myself with the camera on an interval timer, so you can see I'm kind of jumping all over the place, trying to get the um, frame in the right position and you can see how the sun slowly sets and the twilight colors start to come out and so forth and uh, so at any rate so I've got these different images so I went through these and just picked out um, these three the ones that I'm going to uh, combine into these images so we have this first one here which was when the sun had not yet set so that's one of the images we're going to use and then we have this image this is another one that I thought it looked pretty nice because I had these trees framed in there pretty nicely. And I just love the colors on one of these super light ones. Um, this was without the frame. So this is just one as a reference, a baseline, sort of a bottom layer, if you will, that came together into the uh, different layers you can see here. All right, so here I'm just going to show you real quick how to do this. It's really super easy. It just involves using layers and masks and uh, all that sort of stuff. So if you're not familiar with uh, those techniques, then hopefully this will be helpful as you create your own uh, different versions of uh, this or anything like that. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to use this layer here as the as the bottom layer. So I'm going to expand that and I'm going to take this guy and expand it as well. And then I'm going to select all of it. So I'm going to hit, I got a Mac here, so I'm going to use uh, Command A. I think that's a uh, right click it, um, right click on the mouse or maybe Option A on the mouse, on the, on the windows. But anyway, this is Command A. So now I've highlighted this whole region. You can see the dashed marching ants around the perimeter of the image. And I'm going to hit Copy. So I'm going to um, copy this this whole image. And I'm going to come over to this image and I'm going to hit Paste. So I've just pasted that first image on top of the later image. And you can see that over here, there's two layers. There's the top layer and the bottom layer. If I switch off this little, see this little eyeball right here? If I click on that icon, it turns off its visibility so now you can see the bottom layer. If I turn on the top layer, you can see it again. When the top layer is turned on, if I turn off the bottom layer, it doesn't matter because you can't see it because the top layer is in its way. But also look up here, you see where it says opacity. If I take this, um, if I click on that little arrow right here next to the 100% and I decrease the slider, that changes the opacity of just the top layer because you see how I've highlighted the top layer. And that's going to come in handy a little bit later. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to cut out this hole in this layer so I can see uh, the layer underneath. Super easy to do, so I'm going to zoom in here a little bit more so I can do this more accurately. And I'm going to come over here to this tool right here. It's called the Polygonal or Polygonal Lasso Tool. And you can click through, whoops, if I hit Option, you can cut, whoops, clicking on the wrong button on there. So if, I, if I'm holding down the Option key and I click on this area, I've got the Lasso tool, this Polygonal Lasso tool, and then this Magnetic Lasso tool, which is used for something else. But I want this uh, Polygonal Lasso because I want a real sharp edge. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to come down here and click there. Come across here and click there. Come up here like that. Click there. And then come all the way across. And I missed it a little bit, so I'm going to come down just a smidge. And so now I've connected this. Now I have, you can see this um, dash marching ants perimeter. And I'm just going to go over to the keyboard and I'm literally going to hit the delete key, which I just did. And what that does is that deletes the region within here. So now I'm going to um, deselect this region. So I'm going to hit Command D on my Mac. So that has deselected my area. And so now if I turn off my bottom layer, you can see I've literally created a hole in my, in my top layer. So in fact, if I shrink down this, like so, you can see that my top layer now has a hole, like a giant hole in my TV screen, if you will. So if I turn on my bottom layer, that's the part that shows through. So in other words, I've gotten rid of the part of the top layer where I want the bottom layer 
to shine through. So again, I turn off the top layer, I can see all of the bottom layer, but now I'm covering up with everything except this region that has the hole right in the middle of the picture frame. So that's real easy. So now let's go back to our end result. So this is the end result. And the only thing we have to do now is to add this part from when the sun was still up. So let's, let's do that. So here's what we got so far. So now we're gonna come over here to uh, this guy. And you, it was really a cold night. This is me. You can see I've got my uh, Arctic wear on. And what we wanna do now is we only want to get this part of the image, the part with the frame. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that same, look over here, that same polygonal lasso tool. But now I'm going to actually get the whole frame. I wanna cut and paste this whole Region. I'm kind of kind of estimating down here now. That looks pretty good. Come across there to about, let's say here, and then come up to here. So now I have selected that. So now when I cut that out, so I'm gonna hit edit, cut. So I wanna cut that region out. So I, I, want, I want that region from this image. I don't want the rest of it. I don't want me, for example, in this. Come back over here, and I'm gonna hit paste, and it puts it right there. So that looks pretty good. So let's zoom in a little bit on that. And in fact, let's zoom in even more. And the problem, as you'll see here in a minute, is the because the images were slightly resized, I did a little bit of resizing in there. This image is not exactly at the right place. So I can put this anywhere. I've come over here and I clicked on this. If you look up here in the upper left, I clicked on this uh, movement tool so I can move this around anywhere I want. What I want to do is I want to line it up with this with the tree and everything else. Kind of hard to do, so that's when I come over here to this opacity slider and I bring down the opacity enough so I can kind of see through this layer. See that, I can kind of see through it now. And now I bring it over to the tree and, oh, there we go. I can kind of line it up. If you see where these little slivers are, I see these two little slivers in these branches. I'm gonna line up those slivers like so and that looks pretty good. And you can see how the branches now continue on. And uh, this tree is the same. So everything's all nicely lined up. So what I can do now is I can come back to the opacity slider, turn that all the way back up. And we're, we're pretty good to go. We've got this thing right where we want it. And in fact, it's starting to look a lot like the end result. So that's the end result that we have. And uh, this is where we are right now. But we've got a couple little blemishes I want to show you how to get rid of. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in down here. This looks very fake and artificial because you can tell that this was just a cut and paste type thing. So the first thing is we've got a little blemish right there. I wanna get rid of that. And then you can also see how I've just covered up my hand and this is the real giveaway. So we wanna get rid of that. So this first thing here, I wanna show you how to get rid of this guy because it's kind of a neat uh, trick. And that's gonna use this clone stamp tool right here. So I'm gonna click on it. And what this does is you can change the size of the region that you're gonna, you know, clone in there. So I want something that's bigger than that. So something, let's say, about that size. And I'm going to come over here. I've got the option key. So if I click on the option key, like click, I can move this around. This little bullseye shows me where I'm going to sample from. So if I click now with my mouse and let go of the option key, now I've picked up that little piece right from right there where I clicked. I could bring it over here. I could bring it over here. What I want to do is I want to bring it over here. See that? So I'm going to basically clone this region over here and when I click paste Photoshop see what that see what it just did it just completely covered it up so it's fantastic so if I undo that there's that little blemish but there it is bam now the next thing I want to do is to get rid of this oops I got to go back to my little pointer tool get rid of this area where the frame is covering up my fingers super easy just come down here and, and this little icon down here is the icon for adding a mask to this layer so I just added a mask here come over here with my uh, paintbrush Make sure it's black. And I just start painting over the region of the top image where I want my thumb to appear. And here's my hand down here. So I'm clicking away. You can start to see pretty good here. If I go a little bit too far though, whoops, I kind of ate into the frame, but we don't want that. So I come back here with my white tool and I can re repair that. So it's starting to look pretty okay there. And that looks pretty good. So now if I zoom all the way out, um, this is what we've got. And uh, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit more. And uh, that's pretty much uh, where we wanted to go with that. So whoops, if we look at the, uh, this is the starting one, a little bit of color adjustment on the sunset. And this is where we are right now. So that's how to do it. So again, to recap, look over here in the right, you can see each of the three different layers. 
if I turn off the everything but the top layer, this is the top layer with the holes cut in it for my fingers. And then this is the middle layer, which is that, except for the hole cut through the frame. And then if I turn that off and turn on the bottom layer, then this is where I have these beautiful vivid colors of sunset. So I turn everybody on and there you go. So now you see how easy it is to combine different frames of different views at different times or different scenes or anything like that through simple layers and masks with a few other little tips and tricks of Photoshop. So I hope you found that helpful. Take care.